With MeshMachine, any object can have stashes. Stashes are a collection of properties, the most important being a reference to another object. These referenced objects, don't exist in your current scene, but they are saved in the blend file for later access. You can use stashes simply to create backups, before making changes to objects you are working on. Where it gets more interesting however, is when they are used together with the conform and normal transfer tools. To create a stash, select an object, bring up the mesh machine menu, and choose, stash it. You can do the same, while in edit mode. Notice, how for a second or so, the stash object is drawn with a white wireframe. Both of the two previous methods of stashing, have created stashes of the active object, that are stored on that same object. In addition to that, you can also stash one object to another one. To do so, select one or multiple objects, followed by selecting another final object. This last one is the active object, where the stashes are going to be stored on. Every selected object before that will become a stash object. Notice how stashes from other objects, are drawn in yellow. Also, note how the HUD shows a remove sources property, that you can toggle using the D key. If you press D, while the HUD and wire haven't faded away completely, the source object of the stash will be deleted. This is the same as manually selecting the source and deleting it, but is more convenient. Understand, that the stashes still exist, even if the sources have been deleted. Every object that carries stashes has a stash counter shown at the top of the 3D view. Also, you can see in the outliner, that there is only one object in the current scene. But in the blend files data block, four more objects are present. These are the stash objects. When you are working with booleans, it's a good idea to stash both operators. I'm stashing the sphere first. and I'm then stashing this box, to the sphere, before the actual boolean operation. The stash counter at the top now correctly displays 2 for this object. Check out the view stashes video next, to find out how to access and retrieve stash objects.